Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to have a really cool thing that we're going to do and it is called Beedos. Magically joins with water. Um, we're doing Bee Sweet Tropical Delights. Um, it comes ready to play and all you have to do is you put them together and you spray with water and they magically join. So you make your, your um, design, you spray with water, and you display. So I'm really excited about doing this. I've never done this before. So let's get started. All right, let's open it. Let's see what we have inside. It says there's 500 beads. That's a lot of beads. All right. It comes with this nice little tray and a spray bottle and some feet it looks like. Let's see what else it comes with. We have it on a plastic tray so we can Make sure the water doesn't get anywhere, too. Oh, they come in nice little divided up beads. There's our beads. I love making things like this. And then it gives you ideas of what to do, what to make. It says no glue, no heat, no mess. Not in that order. <laughs> Be sweet theme pack instructions. So it says, place the design template in the back of the bead tray under the tabs. Place the beads on the tray one at a time, matching the colors to the design template. Holding the spray bottle at least 10 centimeters away, spray five to six times so the water evenly covers all the beads in your design. Dry for a minimum of 20 minutes before removing. Wow, you've created beedos. Display. So those aren't little feet in there. Those are display um, things for you to put your, your beedos in. And it says you can create these little, these little designs. How awesome is that? Let's see what we can, oh, there's an apple. Looks like that's a soda pop or an ice cream, maybe. Looks like a palm tree. Let's see if there's any on the back. There is, looks like a, maybe a cherry bunch or a grape bunch and a pear. Ooh, a mermaid. And there's another mermaid. She's laying down. That's pretty cool. Let's do, let's do the mermaid. What do you say? We'll do the mermaid today. All right, so it says place a design under the tabs on the t uh, under the tabs so that you can see the template. It looks like we have done that. Excellent. And now we need to open our beads. And we're going to start with we've I've already opened some of them, and so we've got um, some more that we're going to pour in. And um, we're going to pour in some. Some uh, peach colored. And we've got some orange we're going to pour in. We have to make that bigger opening. We've got some brown. Oh, 
Oh, we left one of the peach ones in it. We don't want to leave any in there. We got white. And we got yellow. We got pink. There's a lot of pink. We've got green. Make that bigger. There's a lot of green too. out as little or as much as you want. Oh, green doesn't want to come out of there. I like that plastic bag. Okay. All right, all of our beads are in there and we have blue too. Okay, so we've got our template. And we've got our beads. So I would start from the head down, okay? And you wanna have it as flat as possible so that you can do it. I'm gonna keep it a little elevated, which may make it a little difficult because <laughs> um, I'm gonna try and do that so that you can see what we're doing. But we're gonna start, looks like there's a brown and a brown and some orange here and then some green and then green here, and yellow. So we're gonna start with our brown. And it's okay, the, the colors don't quite match up with the circles, and that's okay. Um, if they don't, you just put it in the circle that goes as close to the color as possible. And in art, there's no such thing as a mistake, so you just go with whatever you wanna do. You make it a happy thing. It's okay if it's not quite where it needs to be. And if you want, you can make your mermaid however you want to make her. Oops. Like I said, there's no wrong here. No wrong way to make her. And then we're going to do some orange. Oh, that's yellow, not orange. We'll put the yellow over here. Some of these little balls are have some static in them from being in the plastic bags. Plastic builds up static and they're sticking to the size of the plastic container over here that they're in. And they don't want to come out. We're moving right along here. We're giving, I think she's got like fruit on her head or something. I'm not real sure what that is. This is like a rockin' mermaid here. Ooh. Our little our little balls are having a mind of their own.
think that is a pink up there. Yeah, that's a pink. Right up there is also a pink. Right there. So we'll put a pink up here to you. And now there are two brown. Where did the other brown go? Did I cover it up? There should be a brown somewhere. <laughs> I think I might have covered it up. Let me uncover some of these and see where the other brown is. There it is. Here's a brown. See how fun that was? We can redo art any way we want. There's no mistakes here. No judgment. All right. We'll put that other brown on there before we forget. I think it goes right there. And then we're going to put in our peach. She look like a mermaid yet to you? I'm not so sure. We'll have to see when we're done what she looks like. Get back over there. She's got some peach here. And she's got some white here. We're moving right along. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, oh no. Get back up there. Sometimes when you make the least little movement, they hop right off. They want to come with you. We're getting, we've got several that are pink there. We got 
or a peach. Did you see that peach just jump right over there into that green? I wanted to be friends with the green. And we're going to do a blue, and a blue, and another blue. And then a couple more peach. Looks like all we have left after that is blue and pink. Kind of filling in on their own, huh? I just made my own decision. I don't like that one there. Well, apparently that one doesn't want to be where I want it to be. Now we got to put our pink on. Separate the tail fins. You put them on too close. It won't look right. We'll move that one in a minute. There we go. All is good. There. And there she is. Oh no. Oh, 
what part of her tail fell off? Here it is. There she is. There's her eyes. There's her nose. This is her necklace. This is her bodice. These are her arms. This is stuff that she has in her hair. Here's her tail. Can you see it? Let's spray her and see, and then we'll come back and we'll see what she looks like. We gotta get our beads out of the way so they don't stick together. Okay, you ready to spray? I think she looks so cute. Okay, it said, how many did it say? Five to six? Here we go. Moment of truth. Okay, there we go. We'll come back and see what she looks like and stand her up in our stand. Okay, guys, it's been right at 20 minutes and it is time to take her off and see how she looks. So here we go. Let's try and pull her off. It looks like she is stuck together. I'm going to remove her really gently. And there she is. Now she's really soft. So I don't know how well she's going to sit in the stand. She's still kind of sticky. She doesn't quite fit in the stand. So I will just hold her for now. So there we go. I'll just hold her. But there is our mermaid. I think she looks really cute. I think the balls are still a little sticky, a little wet on the back. And maybe when she dries a little bit more, she will be able to fit in the stand. Even if she doesn't, you'll be able to have her to what you could probably feed a string through her and maybe hang her um, in the window or um, put her on a mirror or something like that. I think she's gorgeous. There's our little mermaid. Well, thanks for coming. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks. Bye.